Hello students, in chapter 7, welcome again in the last part of this chapter students. Today I am going ahead students, our exercise 7, in the last part, this is your last part of this chapter integration students. Yes, some numerical pending in exercise 7 and our miscellaneous examples. So exercise 7, 35, limit given 0 to 1, x e to x dx, algebraic, Exponential and we going to Li. So by Li e first second integration minus first derivative second integration limit same. So integration same limit applies zero to one. That one we restrict C. So upper limit minus zero limit upper lower limit. And here students E is next integrations I can do in the next steps. So E minus zero E is next. So E minus zero E is to one minus E is to zero. So my answer is E minus E plus E is to zero one. Easy. Now question 36. Same way. Minus 1 to 1. Extra 74. But cos d 4 power dx. Students, it is the odd function whenever you minus a to a given in the our theorem number 8. So we can apply effects. And check it is odd or even, definitely. If I replace in place of x minus x, they get to minus x is to 70 and cos is to 4 minus x. It is minus or outside. That is minus of x. And surely it is indicate our odd function. So fx is. Or function. Finally, what you answer by this rule? Here, answer i is equal z to. Now, students, we will have 37. Same as we. 0 to power 2. Question 37, sorry, minus 6. 0 to 90. Sign Q gets dx. And answer get to 2 by 2. So the sign Q, you can dissolve in two parts. One of the sign square, other sign x. So can I write down? Here 0 to 90 same. Sin x square x is a 1 minus cos square x. And that sin x dx is this. Now this derivative is actually sin cos x derivative. So suppose cos x is t. So then sin x dx minus d. And change the limits if x tends to 0. T tends to cos 0, 1. And another limit, x tends to 90. T tends to cos 90. It become C. So your answer is 1, 2, 0, 1 minus T square, and that is minus T. So minus T is outside. And here the integration is square by 2, sorry, 1 integrated only t. And here the integration by 2. Now putting down your upper limits, minus 1 limits. So minus 1 as it is, 0 putting there no issue, it is 0, but 1 putting there minus 1. So your answer is minus. 
थ्री जीरो माइनस टू थर्ड थ्री माइनस वन सो योर डेटा टू वन टू बाय एंड एक्स योर आंसर स्टूडेंट्स हैव बीन डन यू यस इट इस आस्किंग दैट टू फर्ड अबाउट दैट नाउ वे गोइंग अहेड सर्ची एट सेम इस टू दैट आस्किंग गिवन क्वेश्चंस वन माइनस वन टू इंटीग्रेट जीरो टू फाइव फाइव टू टेन क्यूब एस डेज सो बस टेन क्यूब एस डायरेक्टली मूव यू सेक्स करेंगे सो आई एज्यूम दैट वी आर सपोज टेन एक्स इस टी सेक्स करेंगे डेज डी एंड वन प्लस टेन करेंगे So we can show here one plus d square dx. Sure, I got dx dt by one plus d square, and I just change my limits. If x tends to zero, t tends to ten zero. Zero. If x tends to forty five. T tends to ten point five. It become one. So integration i zero to one two ten q for dx dt by. Now here I think what to do? Yes, as well as denominator, I convert my numerator. T q I write down t square into t. It's best way. Students. And again, t square I write down one plus t square minus one into t c. Actually, I want to this division. This division. Therefore, I go and add in one subtract. Now I continue moving ahead, students, in the way of my solution. Just like both separations, one by one. So my first separation is two outside, zero to one. And this upon this one minus one upon one plus d square, and t d t as is. So two multiply, t also multiply. So my first answer is two t d t zero to one minus two t by one plus d square d t zero to one. Function upper side derivative. So my answer is a e square by two zero one. And your function upper side derivative log function limit as it is two to one. And upper derivative is one minus zero. Your operator log one and one two, but zero upper side log one. Very easy. Now log one is a zero. So students, my answer is one minus log two by zero plus zero. That your finally answer students. Now continue thirty nine. I hope you understood very well that type of students. It's a very easy sum. Now thirty nine. Integration zero to one. Sin inverse x dx and the parts given nothing that answer pi by two minus one. Can I write down here equal to one and go to L I A? That is your inverse and here your algebraic. Yes, inverse and algebraic. So by L I A first. Second integration. Inverse first, algebraic second. Minus in the main integration for the derivative. Second integration. So one integration is x. Ah, maybe that is zero. So you are here applying 
successfully limit for both variables. Not only here, these also variable, and here there will be one by n, one minus x, and here one integration is a x dx. Now again, if you suggest this is a function of the derivative, so as you under root one minus x square is p. So what is your one minus x square? Not derivative. Differentiation with respect to x. So here zero to x dx to t dt this cancels. So only x dx is how much? Minus t. So now I go to change my limits. If you suggestion, then convert the limits. So if x tends to zero, t tends to under root one minus zero square. It means one. If x tends to one, t tends to one minus one square. It means indirectly zero. So you have to now. Digital solutions coming there. So your data. Here yeah, apply the limits. One at is then I mean zero at is then zero. And here limit change zero then one, but one then zero. And wow, under the minus x one t, but x t x. Which is minus the dt. So we easily then know answer pi by two minus minus plus t and t cancel. Now integrate. This integration is a t. So your final data coming down that zero minus one. So pi by two minus one. See ya. That correct. Now, forty questions, students. It is a cancel according to our syllabus. So I am not explain here forty. I go to forty. Integrate e is x and plus e is to minus x. Very easy. Minus terms. This one I convert into positive. One by And take the LCM. So e is to x the square. This I multiply here. Now students, e is to x assumption t. You can get a zero answer. So here suppose e is to x t. E is to x dx. Dt and that I attach here. So my integration dt of t is equal to sum, which is tan inverse t, and your term is the solution. So it is tan inverse. What is t? T is plus plus c, and that's your final answer. Now what? Yes, 42 also very interesting MCQ. Cos two x by cos x plus sin x the whole square. Cos x plus sin x the whole square. So this according to downwards, we can show our upwards. So here I just write down cos square x minus sin square x, and it is same. Now there are two factors a minus b, a plus b. Cos minus sine, cos plus sine. That's a cos plus sine. So let's give one data sensor. Other is remaining. The other part. Cos minus sine by cos plus. Now here's the question. 
function upper derivative cos derivative minus sin and sin derivative is a cos. So we can say only here d dx of cos plus sin upon this and function upper derivative we know that log of function Plus C. That's my answer. 42. Now continue. 43. Which also same going ahead. 43 is a one of the theorem utilizations question. If f of a plus b minus x is equal to fx then integrate a to b x fx dx is less than this so this is very easy numerical i just taking given question i is a a to b x fx dx is a statement one now we operate here theorem upper limit plus lower limit minus x in place of x i as usual so replace upper plus lower minus x for x so can i write the i is here b plus a minus x f b plus a minus x dx so let's this you know This I and this I. How much? 2 I. So your value finally you create in the parts of 2 I. So 2 I equal to A plus B. This is A to B. Yes, here done. A plus B by 2 A to B That's your students, this question answers this one is the and you can take the options now 44 integration tan inverse to x minus 1 by yes, 0 to 1 limit given minus x and downwards given 1 plus x minus x this also means very very most ideal first of all here I take the common x so definitely you can say here if you x common then 1 minus x According to downwards, this both factor I just write down here and I want to 2x minus 1. Here I write down minus. But check this is belong to positive condition. So 0 less than x less than 1. I want to 1 minus x. So 0 anywhere to change. And 
one edition. So it is a one more than so zero less than one. That is the positive one already. X is also positive zero to one. So I write down this full case is zero to one. And after that I go to my later solutions. Condition must be checked here. Why write zero to one here? Because it is your limits. Already given in question. So, my integration i 0 to 1 10 inverse x minus 10 inverse 1 minus x. That is your second chapter formula in inverse trigonometry. So, I again will 10 inverse x dx minus. Ten minus one minus x. This considering I one. That considering I two. And I would like to any one you calculate. Share it is same. I calculate I two. So zero to one. And here statement one. I replace. Upper plus lower limit minus x for x. So what you are finding? It is nothing. It is 10 inverse x. And it is i1. It is i2 and i1 same. So this solution now i is equal to i1 minus i2. It is 0. So indirectly this question is coming to see. Yes, students, here our exercise done. 44 numericals and now I go to our miscellaneous examples that is remaining examples so I all explain now one by one what is it? students I fully all numerical explain in this chapter without already our cancel part yes now miscellaneous example continue our 38 example Integrate cos 6x into 1 plus sin 6x dx. Very easy. Students, uh, no need cos 6x dx is an integrality of which one? Yes, this one. So here I assume root assume either full without root or as you like. I am taking full root t. So 1 plus sin 6x is a t square differentiation with respect to x. So my derivative 0, 6, or 6x is 20 dt. So what is the cos 6x dx? t by 3 dt. 20 by 6 means uh, t by 3 dt and that is you put it down there i. So cos dx with the t by 3 dt and this 1 plus sin x is a thing. So your data one term is going to be p q by 2 and putting your t value successfully. So my answer is 3 is a line. What is your t? 1 plus sin 6x 3 by 2 plus c because q and that is root I put in there so 1 by 9 1 plus sin 6x raised to 3 by 2 correct answer now for the 39 that also same as example
He is full power. Look at that. Here is separate four power. Any quantity x is to four. Remaining one minus x by x is to four. And one four as it is. Upon as it is. Actually, why I doing these steps? The reason is one four the next power is x. One minus one by x cube. And here, x with x is to four. That is. And another x is to minus three. Is to one four. X is to minus four dx. That is the derivative of this one. So here, as you as you should be very simple. Suppose one minus x is to minus three is the differentiation with respect to x so zero. This minus three and minus three plus three. X is to minus four dx. So you can get it. X is to minus four dx is the unity by three. So does this one? I tell you about that. Uh, so it is three is to one by four. Here, I have exactly unity by three. Now is it integrated? So your integration will be. P the power one four plus one, one four plus one, and students plus C. So my final data is easy to call. In the way of this answer, integration I one by G T is to five by four upon five by four. Yes, four and four five. So your final value is a uh, one by three, four by five, and what is your t? This is one minus x is to minus three. Now four by fifteen, one minus one by x cube. Five by four. And here, your final this question is equal to thirty nine. Then just I check the answer. Yes, correct. Power four. Now the question for me. Example of t. This is also very very most of it. X is to four. X minus one. And x square plus one. Dx. Students, actually there are three factors to joining them on separate. So I go to partial fraction method. But Four power and here maximum three. So first of all, I dissolve minus one plus one. Other say as differentiation. So there are two answers: x minus one, x plus one, and x square plus one. Correct? No? See, these two are x square minus one and x square plus one. They cover x square four minus one. Now This divide and this divide both making separate. So for separation, that one, this one, only you have to x plus one means and another one upon x minus one x square plus one. Yes, this division and that division. That I am going now. Our partial fraction method and other is first step is easy to express our integrations. So, I start now with the solutions. Integration i x square by two plus x and plus here i one plus c one and that's here and it is x top. This i one now I explain about by method of partial fractions. So in i one one below. X minus one, x square plus one. I go into by method of partial fraction. 
Students, there are two factors. But one are joining. So A separate with x minus 1. Another, bx plus c, I write x minus 1. And anyhow, decide a value of a, b, and c. And I want to complete it. So, you are going to LCM, your one. A here, x square plus 1. And bx plus c here, x minus 1. So, a x square, a. And that's you. Extra multiply bx square minus bx, cx minus c. So, can I write down 0x square, 0x, and 1? Here, you students take out the common a plus bx square. Now only x minus b plus c and constant a minus c. That's good. For final values. So you just compare a plus b 0, minus b plus c 0, and a minus c 1. Statement 1. Again, coefficient compare, next coefficient compare, and last coefficient compare. So, this I think to divide or I mean, sorry, addition of B gone, C gone, only you have to twice it. Well, you can easily A is a half. It is very easy process. Add it to all parts. Now, here you go. What is B? Minus A. A gone half. So minus half. You can just be half. What is C? Equal to B. It is minus half. So A will be easily. I want now I start easily. So now I will easily. A upon x minus 1 bx plus c upon x square plus 1 bx and all when successfully students put it a i have half b minus half c minus half upon bx Get to it. A half, B minus half, and C minus half. Now I decided find the answer. So students, here answer is a half separate. One zero minus half separate x zero, and a B minus half separate x square plus one minus. I here make the separation. Sir. It is the inverse law. Your function upper derivative, if you do extra multiply and dividing. Yes, log of function. So your answer is half log. It's minus one. One fourth log. X square plus one. N. That is half. Ten plus x. Plus. And that is just students. Final. This big portion, yes, you are easily done. X square by 2, sorry, not done. It is a I1, my mistake, sorry. So, this is a I1. Now, this I1, put it down to the R. Therefore, I is equal to one step left plus I1, C1. Here, write down C2. So, now finished. X square by 2, X. I1 is this. Half log x minus one minus one fourth log x square plus one and minus half ten more x plus c and that's the final. Yes, please. I only this address I one here.
and can be easily done. Now I am moving ahead, 41 questions. Yes, 41 also should be easy some, but I am ready. Integration, same as we, 41. Log of log x upon log x squared. Example, 41. Log with log x plus 1 by log x squared. Again, let me check the question. Log of log x, 1 by log x squared. In textbook, print it different manner. And I explain different manner. Here, students, I just assume for level of log x. Suppose log x is 1 by x means So, it is applicable here possible? No. So, students, you not to do that. You doing just exponential functions. x is equal to e is to be log n and now dx. It is to be a solid. It is to be a So, your data is moving log t 1 by t square. Now, students, here I prefer to formula e is to x into fx plus address x dx. Know that e is to x fx. That I arrange. What is log derivative? 1 by x. Not present here. So I extra add in and subtract. Look at that. Log t derivative 1 by t. So I add here and subtract that. This is an extra layer. This to that, that to that. Yes, e is to t. Log t plus 1 by t separate. Minus form. Minus one by t square. So let's check here. Function nearest derivative. Function nearest derivative. So e is to t of x. So you can write down log t d by dt of log d. Say 1 by t d by dt of 1 by t. And here I write down the formula for you. E is to t fx at t plus at this t. dt. What the rule? E is to t of t. Yes, that principle. I attach the here and get the answer. So, your answer is that e is to t. What is function here? Log t basin. Function was derivative. Same. E is to t. Function was derivative. This is one by t function. So, overall e is to t is known. What is e is to t? x. Log t is a log x basin. Minus. Again, e is to t is a x. And what is t? Log x basin. And happily, this will be the students that there is an IMP question. So, yes, if you come out with IMP list, because that type of correction thinking is a main. Now, example 42. Is 42 also very biggest sum? In division, root quad, root 10, x means. This is the IMP and totally different numericals. Yes. First of all, on I write down 1 by 10. Here also. And you can take your 10 and 10 LCM. So my first 10 is 1 plus 10 by under root 10 dx. So students here, root 10 x suggestion. Suppose root 10 x is t. So what is the 10x? T. 
this way. And now take the directive. So sex curves needs to be here. Sex curves of nobody. 1 plus 10 square x. And what is the tan x? T square. So here t is to 4. So 1 plus t is to 4 dx. In short, dx is equal to 2 t dt upon 1 plus t is to 4. That dx I have attached here. So my integration 1 plus t square t and it is 2 t dt 1 plus t is to 4. This is the answer. Other as it is. Yes, what is here? This A is I A is there. So make the star. In exam, sometimes this also asking. Poor man. This question also asking. So students, when you very denominator 4 power and numerator 2 power, then always you can divide T square, numerator and denominator. Yes. This is a nice topic, but new topic. And first time coming. In this numerical. In your textbook, only one numerical given in this pattern. Yes, students. Again, repeat. Variable 4 power in numerator and 2 power in numerator. 4 power in denominator, 2 power in numerator. Then you can divide numerator and denominator. by t square not equal to 0. Why that way? I explain you. It is a 1 by t square plus 1 by t square plus 1 by t square dt. Actually, this part for which derivative? So, I just write down 1 plus 1 by t square. You know that 1 is derivative of and 1 by t square is minus 1 by t plus 2 by t and whole square because I want to t square plus 1 by t square check t square plus 2 into t into 1 by t it is minus 2 and plus 2 extra we can have 1 by t square now that I assume suppose t minus 1 by t is u Take that 1 plus 1 by t square dt b and that is your value to this one. That's why I here create divided by t square. Now students very easy. B u upon u square root 2 square. And that's I know 1 by a 10 plus c by a. Very easy. You attach the value to 1 by root 2. 10 inverse. Yes, it is 1 by a. 10 inverse. And that your value attached to formula. U is what? T minus 1 by T by root 2 plus C. And that's your easily get answer. So my mistake that 2 is pending here. So I forgot that. Here 2, 2, 2, here. Okay. And now take the LC. It is should be root 2. 10 inverse. And my answer coming to t square minus 1 by t. Now putting down your t. That's. And successfully done. So my answer is root 2. 10 inverse. t square. What is t square? 10x. Minus 1. Your root 2 10x. Plus C. And that's the students. Your final answer T plus root 10x. And here, our final answer over that 42. That also I am pleased to give one. For this step, whenever you 4 power and 2 power in numerator and in the denominator, you can apply divide by T square. Yes. Now continue root 2 10 plus 10x minus 7 root 2 10x. Correct answer. Now 43. I show you slowly going ahead so this.
each and every steps one by one I explain. Now what we do? It's very easy. Sin to x, cos to x, dx, nine minus cos the four power to x. Students, so whenever there are four power, only denominator, not in numerator, to square value. You can attach here a square b square. Ah, if you four power down and upper two power, then it is even possible. Here three. Here cos square to x. That same sin to x cos to x to x. Here I take solutions. And easily going to be formed. So suppose cos square to x become t. Take derivative 2 cos to x into 2. And what is the coefficient to cos derivative? Sin to x, but minus of b d by x. Again, power into 2 cos to x, coefficient 2 and cos to x, then derivative sin to x. Indirectly, you can get sin to x, cos to x, dx, which is minus dt by 4. That's the answer. For your viewer to check, sin to x, cos to x, dx. So to the 4, dt by 4, I just take it. So my solutions are minus dt by 4. Here students 3 square, but max t square. Now constant minus variable in under root. So my answer is a sine inverse p by p. Put in p. What's the t? P is your cos square to x by 3 plus c cos square to x by 3 and minus 1 for the same. Yes, now students again time coming to IMP sum 44 which is IMP. So, 44 numerical very very oldest sum. So, you take mark in the IMP list minus 1 to 3 by 2 mode of x sin pi x means x sin pi x means. Plus, mode means there are the two cases one of the positive and one of the negative. Yes, in textbook also given that affects in the two partition. I also explain that that's the range your minus 1 to 3 by 2. Correct? What is the range of sine function? Minus 1 to 1. So here I take 1. And here your data is positive sine by x. Because in range of the sine minus 1 to 1. This range is outside the range. It is minus. And here students your value, it is one positive basis, one negative basis wise, I can derive my solution. So, students, I derive first in minus 1 to 1, x sine pi x dx, and another in minus x sine pi x dx. But the limit here, 1 to 3 by and that is minus 1 to 1. Now I like the, this algebraic trigo, I like the norm. What is first chance? My first chance is a algebraic first. Then after trigo. And I go to direct steps. So first, second integration, minus cos pi x by pi. Minus first derivative, second integration. Dx. Limit same minus 1 to 1. Here minus 1 to 1. Then then. Now I go to here. In this case. That also I attach. But in the big modulus outside minus. Because outside I have minus value. Now I can start. Same as. Here first. Second integration. 
minus cos pi x by pi limit 1 to 3 n minus of course derivative second integration dx limit same but 1 to 3 by now system will give you attach your limits minus carry outside by attach the first one cos by minus minus one this minus already I take outside eh? only x cos by x one to take now minus one cos of minus one that the minus minus plus one by pi cos integration sine pi x by pi but limit attach minus one to one. Now students here time to into minus minus plus. So here I write down either minus carry outside fully. Here attach your limits. First of all, let me put in 3 by 2. So 3 by 2 minus cos 3 by 2 upon 5 minus. Now one put in. So here 1 minus cos 5. This is the outside already minus I put it there. So these are only single bracket right down. Now this minus and this minus plus. So this here cos integration is a sine pi x by pi. Pi coefficients limit 1 to 3 by 5. And here we can go. One more time check. This minus as it is. Here upper limit minus lower limit. Minus minus plus and cos integration is a sine pi x by pi. And then I attach after the limits. So your solution is easily done. In that case, minus 1 by pi. So this cos pi is a minus 1. This minus minus plus. And here even function so cos pi. That is 1 by pi square. Here attach 1. Cos pi is 0. Minus 1, so I sign by 0, again 0, this both case 0. Now, this minus and this minus plus 3 by 2 pi. Here, students, cos 3 by 2. How much? 0. Yes, cos 3 by 2 is a 0. And minus, minus, and this minus, total minus. And that also, students, upper limit gone. Now lower limit minus, minus, minus is minus, cos pi minus 1 and upon pi as it is. This is the now distance minus plus minus 1 by pi square attached to upper limit sin 3 pi by 2 minus sin pi. So here your final answer done minus 1 minus 1 0 0 plus 1 by pi minus 1 by pi square sin 3 by 2 minus 1 and sin pi 0 so your final data here minus 2 it is 1 by pi and plus 1 by pi square so your data 2 by pi 1 by pi 1 by pi square and then how much 2 upon pi and uh, 1 upon pi yes 3 by pi Check my answers. I think so. Truly correct. 3 upon pi and 1 upon pi square. So it's now we are going to last numerical. Example 45. This is also very dangerous. Huh? 45 example. Integration. Integrate 0 to 5 x dx upon a square cos square b square sin square. This is also very very oldest method and gold level sum students. Gold level, yes. First of all, you think about any how remove this part x value. Students, this x value. 
So go to theorem, state the rule, we replace upper plus lower minus x for x. So what is the i? 0 to y. x I get pi minus x dx. And that should be a square cos square by minus x b square sin square by minus x. Now pi minus x second quadrant it is already square. So you have positive students 0 to pi pi minus x a and downwards a square cos square b square sin square statement now one and two both plus because both them seem the same so students we can go to one plus two which have to two i zero to pi check LCM are same upper we only x plus pi minus x this square cos square this square x and this x and x pi only separate so i is equal to 2i pi 0 to pi dx and a square cos square d square x square now students time coming to one of the turning point here for turning point 0 to pi i just convert into two way 0 to 90 and 90 to pi in two parts so twice i here two times 0 to 90 we can write one check here with 0 to pi i can show in 0 to pi we have two times and other as it is why it is mean i explain in better so students here you can answer So your final 
answer is given as 5 square by 280. Yes, check the answer. I think so. It is correct. 5 square by 280. Yes, students. And here, our this part is an example with 45 and fully our chapter is students done. Now here I end this part and further explanation students our new chapter, A chapter. Yes, application of integrations in the next part. Okay students, bye bye.